If you subscribe to the channel, you'll get lots of interesting videos like this one. And if you like the video, it'll really help us out. Please comment down below for any other interesting things that also really helps us out as well. Hi, welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. Again, we're going to be doing another problem set here. So we yesterday we were talking about the NFA to regular grammar uh, transformation and the other way around. And what we showed is that every regular grammar has an NFA and then therefore they recognize exactly the regular languages because we can convert back and forth between them. So here are some uh, problems that I want you to work on. So let's say that uh, if a oops, if a DFA has n states and um, let, let's say s symbols and f final states, uh, how big will the regular grammar be? Okay. So this is just a test to see, do you understand the actual transformation here? And it actually might be that we don't know exactly the answer for this, because maybe we need to know something about the DFA in order to assert how big the regular grammar is. And by big, I mean how many variables does it have, how many terminals does it have, how many rules does it have, uh, that sort of thing. And another thing that I would want to do is do uh, number one, but in reverse. In reverse. And what do I mean by that? I mean that if a regular grammar has, let's say, n variables and r rules, that's how many rules it has, and s symbols, actually I shouldn't call it symbols because the terminology is different, let's call them terminals, okay, uh, then how big will the corresponding, corresponding NFA be? Because if you recall from the construction, we can convert a DFA or an NFA directly to a regular, a regular grammar. But if we started with a regular grammar, we can only necessarily get an NFA. We don't necessarily get a DFA. So to that end, is there a procedure to convert uh, a regular grammar directly, so the keyword is directly, to a DFA without having to convert it to an NFA and then rely on the NFA to DFA conversion. Is there a way to do it directly? We saw this with regular expressions, but we didn't see this with regular grammars. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave down your answers down into the comments and any proofs that you have. And as always, I'll see you next time.